Hello everyone and welcome to the second week. This week we are going to be talking about CSS. Now, I understand that we just covered the entirety of HTML in one week, so you're probably not 100% sure on it and you've still got a lot to go and that's perfectly fine. That's completely understandable and we're going to build on that throughout the entirety of this course. You're going to be using HTML over and over and over and over again, so you're going to get a lot more practice. So if it's still a little bit fuzzy and you don't have 100% down, that's fine. As long as you've got the basics and the foundation, you're good to go. We're going to do pretty much the same thing with CSS. We're going to kind of give you a, a blitz through in a week, and then we're going to use it and use it and use it, and you're going to continue to use it throughout this course and every time that you make a website, so you will get better over time. We're going to give you the foundation and then we're going to build on that. So if you're still not 100% sure on HTML, that's fine. You're going to get it along the way. The same with CSS. By the time this week is over with, you're going to have a ton of information that we've gone over and you're going to have these videos you can refer back to, but you're also not going to have it. You're not going to completely understand it. There's a lot to it and it's just going to take time. I want to preface this entire thing with something that I said earlier in one of the first videos, I am not a front-end master. I am not all that great at the front-end side of things. I can do what I want it to do, but I'm not a master, and CSS is kind of my Achilles heel. I'm not very good with CSS. I've learned it well enough to do what I want it to do, but there are a billion people out there who are much, much better at it than I am. I'm a back-end person. So I'm going to show you what I know and some of the tricks and the tools that I use to make it work, and then I'm going to let you go and say, do better than me, basically. So the main, really, objective of this video, this is going to be a pretty short one, is just to understand the basic rule of CSS, as I like to call it. First, what is CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. If you remember from previous videos about the front-end Holy Tr Trinity, it's the adjectives of the web. It's the stuff that takes the boring HTML and makes it look like we want it to look. It makes it look pretty or makes it look scary or whatever you want it to look like. So CSS is cascading style sheets. That will come up later and you'll understand what it means by cascading, but just keep that in mind. Keep that in the back of your head that, hey, these sheets cascade. That means they go from one level to the next to the next, and that'll come up later. We'll talk about more what that means. But before we do really much of anything else, I want to show you some of the cool stuff you can do with CSS. Um, there's a wonderful, wonderful website called CSS Zen Garden, which basically takes the same HTML and then has people apply different CSS to it to completely change the way it looks. So for example, these two are the exact same HTML. It's the same text, the same format, they're in the same place. All they did was change the CSS and you get two entirely different websites. Here is CSS Zen Garden, cssengarden.com. One thing to note, they are not yet on HTTPS, so just keep that in mind. Don't put in any personal information, but they don't ever ask you for any information. This is the basic HTML file. That's all there is to it. If I inspect the source, this is what it looks like. All stuff that we're familiar with for the most part. They're using different tags, like they're using sections. They're using headers, but they've still got divs. they got p tags h3 all that stuff so there's nothing special in this it's just a bunch of html but you'll notice this page has the exact same html as for example this page the exact same html but you'll notice it looks very very different if i go back we might do i don't know screen filler here we go this is the exact same html the only thing that changed is css so this is just to illustrate that CSS is extremely powerful and it's what makes your websites look good. The basic rule of CSS is your selector, you have an open curly bracket, then you have a property, colon, value, semicolon. That's really all there is to it. You can put as many properties in here as you want. You have a property A and then whatever the value is going to be, property B, whatever the value, property C, D, E, F, whatever the property is, and the value, then you have a closing curly bracket. These semicolons are required. If you don't put the semicolons, they will not work. And that's really all there is to it. This is the basic rule. Selector, open and close curly brackets, and inside you have your key value pairs of property and whatever the value is, separated by a colon, ending with a semicolon. And that's it for this video. We're going to get into more specifics about what this means in the next one. I hope you have a good one.